Welcome to this video in the Blueprint of Life topic. This video is going to be looking at the following dot points. Describe the inheritance of sex-linked genes and alleles that exhibit codominance and explain why these do not produce simple Mendelian ratios. Explain the relationship between homozygous and heterozygous genotype and the resulting phenotype in examples of codominance and solve problems using codominance and sex linkage. So this video in particular is going to be looking at codominance and there will be another one looking particularly at sex linkage. So up until now we've been looking at Mendel's work which we understand there is a dominant and a recessive characteristic that is influencing the phenotype. So an individual with a dominant gene or the dominant allele will always show the dominant characteristic and an individual that is homozygous for the recessive characteristic will always show the recessive characteristic. So what we're actually going to look at today is something a little bit different. So we've come to the, to the discovery that not all characteristics are expressed in a dominant or a recessive way. So sometimes two alleles can be um, expressed in the phenotype and we refer to this as codominance. So neither of the alleles is dominant over the other. When the individual is heterozygous for this particular trait, they actually show both of the characteristics. So an example of codominance is the Rowan cow, where we have so let's have a look at a picture that shows us this. So as we can see here, we have a red cow crossed with a white cow. Now all of the individuals there, you can see, have the genotype RW. So they have one of the red and one of the white uh, genes from both of their parents. So instead of this cow being either red or white, it actually shows both of the phenotypes. So a second example in humans is our blood type. So looking at this picture down here, we can see that there are a number of different gen oh sorry, a number of different blood types that we can have. We can either be A, AB, B or O. So an individual could have one of three different alleles that they can pass on to their offspring. So we can see here we have the allele combination and the blood types that result. So if we have an A and an A allele, we have the blood type A. If we have A and an O, we have the blood type A again, as A is dominant over O. Now if we have the alleles A and B, we can see here in this third one that we end up with an AB blood type. So it's completely different to A, it's completely different to B. So if we have BB again, we can see that our uh, blood type is B. If we have B and an O, our blood type is B. And if we have two O's, we end up with a blood type of O. So within human blood types, there's actually four phenotypes. Okay, Three alleles can create four different phenotypes depending on the allele combinations. So you were given a sheet with a couple of different questions to look at based on codominance. So question number one says a red RR and a white WW were crossbred, resulting in a 100% RW. What is the phenotype according to the rules of codominance? So we can see from the question that we have a red flower crossed with a white flower and the result is 100% RW. So all we want to know is the phenotype. So the phenotype is based on the offspring. So if the offspring are heterozygous, meaning that they have one of each allele and it is codominant, it means that they show both phenotypes at once. So our phenotypes will be all red and white flowers. Okay, so that, that's all that question is asking is what will those flowers look like? Okay, so now let's have a look at question number two. Question number two says if you have type B blood, what would your genotypes be? So if we remember from this picture from the last slide, okay, we're looking for um, individuals that have the genotype, oh sorry, the blood type B. So they can have one of two different genotypes. So their genotypes could be BB, so they could be homozygous B, or it could also be BO as B is dominant over the O. 
Question number three, if a rowan cow, so that's our red and white cow, reproduced with a white cow, what ratio of phenotypes would be produced? So we've got three piece, two pieces of information, one thing that we're looking for. So our rowan cow is um, showing the codominance, so it is heterozygous RW crossed with a white cow, so homozygous WW, and we want to work out the phenotypes. We need to use a Punnett square, so we draw up our Punnett square, RW, WW, so we have RW, WW, RW, and WW. So we want to know what the ratio of phenotypes would be. So the ratio would be 1 red, oops, sorry, 1 rowan, not red, 1 rowan to 1 white. Okay, so that's our ratio of phenotypes only. We don't need to know what the genotypes are in this question. Okay, then question number four. A man has a blood type A and his wife has a blood type B. A physician types the blood of their four children and amazed to find they have one of each blood types. How could this happen? So again, we'll have a look at this little picture so we can be reminded of what the different genotypes are. So our father has blood type A, so he has either one of these two genotypes, AA or AO. Mum has the genotype, sorry, the blood type B, so she's either BB or BO. Now our resulting children have one of each, so we have one that's blood type A, one that's blood type AB, one that's blood type B, and one that's blood type O. So if we're going to have one of our offspring have the blood type O, we need to have an O in both of our parents. So the Punnett square for this would be AO for dad and BO for mum because both of them have the dominant um, blood type. So we would draw up our Punnett square, AO and BO, AB, BO, AO and OO. So as we can see from our resulting crosses, we have one, two, three, four different blood types being shown in our offspring. Okay, so question number five, a flower is red, so RR crossed with a co-dominant red and white flower, RW. What is the genotype ratio and phenotype percentage of our offspring? So let's draw up our Punnett square. We've been given the information of the genotypes. So RR and RW. We draw our Punnett square and RW. Okay, so we want to know the genotype ratio. So the genotype ratio is 1 RR to 1 RW. And the phenotype percentage is 50% red and 50% red and white. And the last question, question number six, could two individuals with type A blood ever produce an offspring with type O? So identify the possible genotypes of the two individuals, solve the problem using Punnett square and explain your answer. So for one last time, I'll bring this image back in. So we can see we want two individuals with type A. So we're looking at this column and this column. So could they ever produce an offspring with O? So we can see that to have blood type A, the parents are either AA or AO. So if both of our parents are AO, in our Punnett square, AO, AO, a, 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 O, A, O, and O, O. We can see here that we're getting that O, O blood type. So our O, O genotype gives us the blood type of O. So explaining our answer, if both of the parents have the recessive allele, then that recessive O blood type is going to show through. Okay, and that's it for today.